Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. A 54 years old bartender was shot and killed in his yard by a lone gunman while he was having his dinner on Sunday, May 26. Dead is Christopher Brown, a resident of St. Mary. Reports are that around 9.22 p.m., Brown was sitting at his veranda at White River in the vicinity of the farmer's market in St. Mary, eating dinner when a car stopped on the roadway and a lone gunman alighted from it. The gunman reportedly entered Brown's yard and opened fire eating him all over his body. Brown ran into his house where he collapsed. The gunman then escaped. The police were called and Brown was taken to the Port Maria Hospital where he was pronounced dead. No motive for the killing has been established. Investigation continue. The police are proving the murder of a man in George's Valley, Manchester on Sunday night. Police named the man as Clifton Lewis, 53, a resident of Woodland Heights, George's Valley in the parish. A police report said about 8.15 p.m., residents heard loud explosion and subsequently saw Lewis suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds on a roadway in the community. He came to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Manchester recorded 15 murders since the start of this year. A woman was remanded in the St. Catherine Parish Court on allegation of using white rum to set her boyfriend on fire over infinity. Shanika Malcolm, 30, is charged with assault occasion grievous badly arm. The court was told that the man has suffered severe burns. It has been alleged that on the night of April 25, the boyfriend was at home in Christian Penn in Portmore when he was visited by the accused. An argument reportedly developed between them. After Malcolm accused the complainant of being unfaithful, she reportedly dosed him with a bottle containing white rum and allegedly used a lighter to set the complainant ablaze. He was rescued by a neighbor who poured water on him. The complainant was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was admitted for extensive burns to back and lower body. An investigation was conducted which led to the arrest and charge of the accused. A policeman has been arrested after he was alleged found with ganja, a SIM card and other contraband at the lockup at the Witton Police Station in Westmoreland. The incident happened about 2.30 p.m. on Saturday. It's reported that the constable was on cell guard duties when he was observed with a parcel in his position at the entrance of the cell block. He was summoned by his supervisor and the parcel, the black plastic bag, retrieved and searched in his present. It reportedly contained 40 cigarette sticks, a plastic water bottle with a white substance smelling like rum and a transparent plastic bag with two packs of wrap resident wrap paper, three lighters, a blue and white SIM card and 10 ounces of green jai vegetable. Matter resembling ganja were also found. In the parcel, a SIM card is a device that enables access mobile phone network. The items were seized and the constable was arrested while the investigation continued. 